Hello, my name is Nino Shikishvili. I'm a classical pianist. I'm delighted to be one of the screening jury members of the upcoming Nashville International Chopin Piano Competition that will take place in October 2023. I have several questions here and I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, question number one, what is the single most important thing when performing Chopin? Uh, there are lots of aspects to be considered when performing Chopin, uh, such as phrasing, articulation, the sense of timing, structure, singing tone. But in my opinion, the most important thing when performing Chopin is to, be, to approach his masterpieces with sincerity and sensitivity, uh, to strive to capture the emotional depth of his music. Question number two. What Chopin works should one avoid when participating in a competition? In general, when preparing for a music competition, it is important to carefully select an appropriate repertoire, considering one's strengths and weaknesses as a performer. As for Chopin, uh, his piano literature is vast and diverse, as we all know, with a wide range of styles, moods, and technical demands. Generally, I would try to avoid any Chopin piece to include in a competition because everyone has its own opinion on how to play Chopin. Uh, it is hard to please the audience. Uh, for me, to give a specific answer to this question is rather difficult because the decision on decision of uh, which Chopin works to include or not include in a, a competition repertoire should be based on a careful consideration of the performer's abilities and preferences and the specific demands of each piece. Uh, question number three. What are complete deal breakers for you in one Chopin interpretation? Uh, failing to convey the appropriate emotional content of Chopin's music can be a deal breaker for me. Also, the overuse of rubato can be very distracting. Insincere and unconvincing performances are also deal breakers, in my opinion, of course. Uh, question number four, how to choose your 45-minute Chopin recital program? I think the key when selecting a program is to show one's abilities as a performer and to engage the audience through a variety of musical styles and characters. I would probably um, include a selection of Chopin's uh, preludes or a set of mazurkas and uh, perhaps one large work such as a sonata. Question number five, How, uh, who, uh, who are your favorite Chopin pianists? Uh, well, a few names that uh, come to my mind are Dino Lipati, Alfred Corto, of course, Rubinstein, Rachmaninoff. Uh, from our generation, I would say Alexei Sultanov and Alexander Korsantia. And this is just my opinion. And there are uh, many other uh, pianists who have made significant contributions to the interpretation of Chopin's music. Uh, question number six, how do you deal with nerves while performing? Well, an essential part of not being nervous is to be well prepared for the performance. It definitely builds one's confidence. I think that nerves are, nerves are um, a natural part of performing and it is normal to feel anxious before a performance. I myself try to focus on the music rather than on my nerves. I try not to worry about mistakes that may happen. And I tell myself that it is not the end of the world if that happens and life continues. Uh, question number seven. Uh, what piano advice would you give to yourself if, if you could go back in time? <clears throat> uh, if I could go back in time, I would advise myself to work harder, be purposeful, use time wisely, and always strive for professional growth. <clears throat> I actually just remember the expression. It sounds something like this. Uh, if youth knew and old age could. And I think it would be amazing, but perhaps uh, this is what makes our life interesting. And um, I think there is time for everything. 
Uh, question num number eight. Is there anything else you would like to tell our participants? I would tell them to relax and enjoy every minute of their performances. Um, I would tell them to look at this competition as another step uh, towards the uh, pedestal. Uh, they say, uh, as you believe, so it becomes. So believe in yourselves, my dear contestants. Thank you very much for your attention and looking forward to hearing your performances.